Never impose on others what you would not choose for yourself. Confucius, better known in China as Master Kong. As a great thinker, he posed an immeasurable influence on East Asian intellect and social history. Born in the age of violence and war, he was a messenger of harmony and peace. Welcome to Few Minutes Knowledge. Today's video is all about a thinker and idealist who shaped Eastern philosophy, named Kongzi, originally and known by the West as Confucius. In this video, we'll see how he was an epitome of Chinese sages. So without further ado, let's get started. Confucius was a 5th century BCE Chinese thinker who was said to be born around 551-479 BCE. Despite being born in an era of unrest, he was a creator of political and moral philosophy that later shaped the Eastern philosophy. Though not much is known about him, he could have been a student of Taoist master Lao Tzu. He began serving the government at the age of 32 and served in many posts, the most known of which is the Ministry of Crime under Duke Ding in the state of Lu. The Chinese people in his times deified and dismissed his ideas, but Chinese emperors who came later after his death adopted and valued them for their practical contribution to philosophy. When Confucius was 56, he fell out with Duke when the latter received a gift of 80 beautiful women and 124 horses. Confucius was disappointed in the Duke, as he was always riding horses and entertained by the women. He went out on a journey of his own, and wandered for 12 years. Confucius's works were collected into the Analects, Lun Yu. What are Analects? These are a collection of sayings written down by his followers. These teachings reflect ideas if the ruler lived virtuously and showed good deeds, others would ultimately follow. His teachings on moral, philosophical, social, and political behavior laid the foundation of Confucianism. His most important works are on humaneness and empathy towards other human fellows, rituals, and the mutual relationship of love between children and parents. In his life, and through his teachings, he stressed the importance of following the rules and commands from honorable people. Let the ruler be a ruler, the subject a subject, a father a father, and a son a son. After his death, emperors look to the scholars of Confucianism to help them in managing their state affairs and governing their people. His teachings were practically applicable and helped governors design a system in which society was self-regulating. We see many of these principles still practiced in China, Japan, and Korea. This was all about Confucius and his influence on Eastern culture and philosophy. If you like our videos, subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to receive regular updates. Give this video a big thumbs up and keep coming back.